Swimming. Swimming is my life. That is why I want to share a bit of it with you. Since I was two years old, I started swimming. This was only a hobby for me until it started becoming something bigger and something much more important for me. At the age of 12, I started training for it in a much formal way. That meant every day and in a high competitive way. Obviously, to become a good swimmer, you need to become stronger. And to win, you need to become stronger. Okay, in swimming, we use a lot of muscles. The system of muscles that are the most important that we use are the back, legs, arms, and core muscles. Pretty much all of them, right? But in some certain styles, we use it a little bit more so we develop them more. The styles are butterfly, backstroke, and freestyle. So um, while we develop the, this more, we kind of look bigger from the body, and especially from the back. Throughout time, the idea of the perfect body has changed. In the last century, the types of body have changed hugely and in a very short lap of time. In 1910, in 1910, we can see a hourglass figure with a cinch waist. In the 20s, we see a thin figure without curves. In the 30s, we see a curved body with a slim waist. 40s, we see a taller and a square figure. 50s, we see a fuller bust and larger hips. 60s, ultra slim body without curves. 70s, flat belly and a smaller hips. 80s, we have an athletic figure. 90s, a waist figure. In the 2000s, we see a extremely thin figure. And 2010 and now, we have to have flat belly, larger hips, fuller bust, and a big butt. Of course, women who don't have all these characteristics, um, sometimes they feel less. So, let me ask you some questions. Have you ever had the idea that you are not enough because of your body? Have you felt the shame because you don't have a flat belly? Have your friends made comments about this and you and your body? And the bigger question is, have you ever felt less because of these stereotypes? I guess we all have, right? And if you haven't, well, let me tell you, you are very, very lucky. Because I have felt ashamed because I don't have a flat belly. I have felt that I'm not enough because of my body. And I have felt less because my friends had made comments about my body. Now. Let me tell you my experience about this. One day, I was talking to a friend, who by the way is a woman, okay? And I was talking to her about how I, how I wanted to get my arms toned, but in order to do that, I need to have a less percentage of body fat in my body. And the next thing she told me was that I wanted to have man arms. And I was bewildered by this comment because first of all, she is a woman and she is my friend who's telling me this. Now, I want to say that you don't have to feel less because you don't have the ideal body type. Now, I want to show you some of the most incredible women in swimming. Now, she is Katie Ledecky. She has seven gold medals three silver medals, and she is the most decorated athlete in women's swimming. She has these four swimming races in freestyle, and she has the world records on this. Katie Ladecki surpasses Phelps with 16 individual world swimming titles. Do you imagine surpassing Phelps? Well, Katie Ladecki has done it. Sarah Shostrom, she has these four um, swimming races, the world records. Uh, 21 world medals, 15 individual world titles, four participations at the Olympics. Emma McKeon, 11 medals. She has relay victories, 
in freestyle and in two other swimming races, two Olympic participation, and the first women to swim 100 meters freestyle under 50 seconds. Now, we go back and see these women. They don't have the ideal type of body. They are incredible and still don't have the ideal type of body. So what makes you think that you need to have the ideal type of body in order to be successful or to be more than the other women? No, nothing. So what I want um, uh, to say to you is that you don't have to feel less because, of you, because you don't have the ideal body type. You don't have to feel the shame because you don't have a flat belly. You just need to be confident and to believe in yourself because these women have beat the stereotypes and of course their careers in their careers has been a road full of stereotypes and they beat them. So take care and um, love yourselves and don't give up. Thank you.